Hi there, it's Sunny from iPhone Life Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use the built in weather app. That's the native app that comes with your iPhone. Um, so, easy to find, it's that blue app with the sun and the cloud on it. And the first thing it will show you is what the weather is doing in the area that you're located. You get that as a default setting. You can tell that because down at the bottom uh, there is a little um, location symbol, the little arrow that kind of points to the right hand side. That shows that it is the location that you're in that you're receiving the weather for. And also I know that I'm in Retford right now so it all kind of ties together and makes sense. Now if we want to see what the weather is doing um, across the day we can actually take this bar in the center and we can actually swipe it to the side like this and we can see that the weather right now is 19 degrees but it's going to get warmer and we're looking forward uh, this afternoon to temperatures reaching um, 27 degrees. Um, we can also see what's upcoming in the next few days. Apparently we're going to get thunderstorms tomorrow in the area so uh, personally I'll look forward to that. I, I like it when the uh, thunderstorms come down and uh, the, the air just gets fresher. But what can we do about other cities where we are where we are perhaps going to or cities or towns that we're interested in? Um, well, if we just swipe across the bottom, okay, so I'm swiping along the lower half, we can see that just down the road in Doncaster, um, the skies are uh, bluer and brighter. Uh, the sun has already come out and temperatures are going to uh, climb just a little bit more quickly. So maybe that's not too bad because I'm actually planning on going to Doncaster this afternoon, so uh, I'll know um, how to uh, plan for my trip. But I can add other cities, of course, into this. And the way to do that is go to the bottom right-hand corner where we've got those three little lines. It's called a hamburger icon. If I just tap on that, it then brings up a list of the cities uh, which we're actually um, uh, um, which we're accessing through the app. So if we press the plus button on the just below Doncaster, just press the little plus button, we then go in. We can now go in search of other towns and cities. So if I want to know what's happening, for example, up in uh, Bonnie, Scotland, let's check in to Edinburgh, just type in Edinburgh, and I can press search, and there we go. We've got a number of options there for which Edinburgh we mean. Uh, we can go down to the airport, or there's even an Edinburgh in Indiana in the United States. Uh, I didn't know that, so it's an educational tool as well. So I'm going to tap on Edinburgh, Scotland, and it's now going away, searching for the information, and we can see already Edinburgh is a little bit cloudy as well, and it's 14 degrees. So this is also giving us an at-a-glance view of what's happening in these different towns. Now, the one at the top, of course, is my uh, location, so that isn't going to move, that's always going to be at the top, but I can actually move the other two around. So if I just keep uh, Edinburgh pressed, it picks it up for me, and with my finger still on the screen, I can put Edinburgh above Doncaster. There you go. And then now that changes the sequence of the towns on the previous screen. So let's go into Edinburgh. If I just tap on Edinburgh instead of keeping it pressed it will take me to the full screen information. And now the order has changed. If I swipe to my right I've got Retford back to Edinburgh by swiping left and left again to find Doncaster. So the order of the towns and the cities is altered uh, and you can do that very easily yourself if you maybe have five or six cities that you're interested in. Uh, the other thing we can do is change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You probably saw that already. So I'll go back into the hamburger icon and you can see that uh, Celsius is already highlighted. But I can just tap that and we can change over to Fahrenheit uh, very easily. Except in Redford, it seems like we don't like Fahrenheit in, in this town. Let's uh, have a quick look. We tap on Retford. Yeah, we're still retrieving the information. There we go. It's 67 degrees uh, Fahrenheit here in Retford. A little bit cooler in Edinburgh, but it's the same temperature in Doncaster. Okay, I'm just going to pop that back. I don't like Fahrenheit. I'm going to stick with Celsius. That's what I was uh, brought up with. Again, Retford's just taking that little bit longer to come through. Presumably what's happening is the app is accessing the GPS, just refreshing it knows where it is, make sure that we're definitely in Retford before it uh, changes the data. If I just tap on the word Retford and that will force it to go and check where we are and sure enough we're back
back here in Bonnie Retford. Okay, excellent. So uh, just a quick video there to show you how you can use the weather app. Um, hope you found that useful and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.